Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. So yeah, we have a guard that we have to find a way to, to trick and take down. So what could we do? Just get a just get a just get a coin out and um, throw it and throw it to where somewhere where the guard will see you escaping. As you guys probably have already realized, uh, yes, Colonel Campbell's tip is the way to go. You have to wait for the guard to have the uh, get the need to go take a shit, and then you can do something about it. <laughs> I'm basically I'm showcasing something. Basically, if you put yourself under the bed where he can't see you, eventually the guard will get angry at you and come in. Can you knock him out? You can actually. This is a, the, this is this is kind of like a sneak early preview of what we will be, we will be see later in the gameplay of Phantom Pain, where there's flexibility in how you can progress in this bit. Also, dude, cover your like nose or something when you're sneezing like that. Oh yeah, that. I forgot about that. Sorry, sorry, go on, Shira, sorry. Go on. It's like, cover your face when you're sneezing like that, my dude. I forgot, I got, I got a bit ahead of myself. Basically, right now I'm shocked at how if you take too long in the cell, uh, Oslo will call you in again to start torture again into making you once again come spill the beans. Once again, it's the same thing. You have to survive three rounds of electrocution by mashing circle. Um, remember, there are no when your life reaches zero, there are no continues, my friend. So, yeah. But what if, what if this is the time the god decides to take a shit and we've missed it? <laughs> no, that would be. Uh, oh yeah, and then another cool thing that we actually do get more information out of Ocelot if we do some of these repeat scenes. I'm only gonna do it. I'm, 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 I'm only gonna do it once, though, because you know, um, you know, uh, just for the sake of moving the plot along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. As nice as it is, as, as it is, the, the info you get from him is mainly superfluous, as opposed to getting any it's rich details. It, it, it's extra little details that are nice to have for those for those of, uh, like me who love uh, to get out of the because uh, I I love the Metal Gear universe and the Metal Gear lore so much that any extra bit of information is nice for me. But yeah, no, sure. Like, uh, don't, don't. You, you don't have to bother with it if you don't want to. It's one of those cases where yes, they are extra nice bits of detail, but they're not like <sighs> they're not. They're not. They're, they're, they're not super essential. They're 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 there if you. They're, they're there for extra detail if if you're like super into this uh, as I am, basically. I think he drops one line that kind of hints at the events of Phantom Pain, but I may just be misremembering that. Um, I don't. Well, the reason you need to know about yeah, no, the Ocelot no, 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 of any team, maybe you don't mention it here, is that if there is a particular minor conflict, uh, actual physical conflict that happened during the Cold War, he fought there. Yeah. Um, I might as well. Actually, Joe might as well bring up something that Joe just mentioned about that. Um, uh, here's a fun thing. Like Mark Cerny once said in the in the in the, in the MGS5 well, retrospective cool. video that was made back in 2015, that uh, where shortly after MGS1 came out, um, and you know it was a big success and everything. Mark Cerny at the time actually did visit Konami's offices, uh, specifically mm -hmm. Kojima's division. And guess what? Everybody was on vac. According to Mark Cerny, everybody at the time was on vacation. Except for one person, basically, lo it was most of the mo a lot of the lights were out except for one desk that had one light bulb on. And who was there in that desk? It was Kojima, uh, writing down um, the, 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 the what's the events that were going to follow for MGS2 and MGS3. Yeah, that that I do not know that uh, the plot was written between 1998 and 1999 right on the, after the success of this game. This is important for something that will be mentioned in MG, MGS2 that uh, will make you wonder how it was written around that time. Yeah, let's just say let's just say it's the ultimate example of clairvoyance that I've ever seen. <laughs> but for now, let's just focus on this. Okay, so now that we saw that for ourselves, okay, we, we already have the entire life bar, so don't need to do anything. So yeah, like I was saying before, you have to wait till the guard has a moment where he has to... Yeah, and yeah, if you bang on the door, the guard will even react, so pretty cool. Hey, I'm okay, Snake. Yeah. I was about to cute with you, Crick. Snake, is there anything... Oh, out of this bit. Check this out. Yeah, my arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. 
Snake, put the controller up against your arm. Okay. What? Done. Don't worry. It'll feel good. Okay. And it electrocutes the player. Ah. Thank you. There, there you go, uh, Shiroi. A game that literally massages the player's arm. Is that the new excuse? This is this is your you know this is your massager. Again, uh, again, this game is uh, like so again. Keep in mind, like uh, try to imagine again, like us us teenagers from the late nineties playing this thing, and it's just like so. Uh, like, <laughs> Massage gear, solid. <laughs> all right, all right. This is actually important backstory for Naomi. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my yeah. father. Yeah. Darth Vader. Dead. By my own hand. Big boss. Yeah. In the previous game. Big boss. Yep. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So. Is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were mm. able to kill him? Knowing that? Well, given that he was trying to kill Snake oh. at the time. And, yeah. and he's a, and he was a, a terrorist Something that wanted that was, you know, raising child soldiers. Yep. So that's the uh, <laughs> Naomi, despite it being patricide, Snake saved so many people that day. And again, Big Boss was kind of a psychotic killer at the time as well. Also, again, child soldiers. It also prevents, you know, health about, uh, against the, the, oh, the energy crisis going on. So Naomi had a big brother. <laughs> Where is he? But he wasn't mm. even blood related. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Also, you no. really could ask that after no, this conversation? Yes! <laughs> yes, she is. She's curious. Oh. Uh, is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Fox Hound ever to receive the code name Fox. Exactly. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did. Yep. Yeah, but we got it. Right. Check out play for the previous game. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. Well, it wasn't a personal thing, there Naomi. No reason to end a friendship. <laughs> First met him on the battlefield. You want to talk, Naomi? Being held a prisoner I mean, him, you did end your friendship uh, by killing him, I guess. So cool and Shiroi, it, uh, trust me. <laughs> Shiroi, in this series, friendship does not die just because you kill a person. No. Uh, what? What? what sure. <laughs> well, okay. Well, well, I'll, I'll explain later. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. Yep. I know it sounds strange to most people. But we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. Exactly, Shiroi. It's like a sport. So the, Shiro, it, 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 wasn't a per, it wasn't a personal thing. There were two soldiers on opposite sides, and they each of them did their job. To them, it's... Shiro, it, you it, think, go on. Sure, you think it's complicated now. Just wait till we get to Metal Gear Solid 3. That'll really ramp up how weird these relationships can go. Yeah. Nothing personal. I'm just going to pop a cap in your skull. It's fine. Well, well, well remember, Shiro. It, it, it's, it's in the... <laughs> remember, Shiro. See... Oh, oh, oh. This is important. I'll explain later. Like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate... Only if you're in contact with the Zohar. I'm sorry, I have no idea. <clears throat> of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. 
Mm -hmm. uh, what they mean? She, look, look, look at it this way. This is here's how both Snake and Fox looked at it. She right, Gray Fox specifically. Yeah, yeah, we're at this. Um, they're in, in the same way that two people can be friends and yet be coaches of two opposite teams in a sport. Uh, Snake and Grey Fox look at that kind of thing in the same way. They're two soldiers working for two opposite factions, and they're just doing each other's jobs. Uh, and that's how they look at this thing. They, they they pride themselves on their jobs, and even if they're on opposite sides, again, it's not a personal thing. It's just you know you know they're on opposite sides. That's how they look at it. Basically. You'd be surprised how common this can be in media. Yes, even bouts where people are trying to kill each other. You ever see the Mr. and Mrs. Robinson thing? I think something like that. Uh, a big no, I know, I know what's going on. It's just funny. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yes it is. And like I said, Metal Gear Solid Three takes it to a whole new level. That's right. You already talked to me. Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone. Yeah, you already said that. But I want to say feeling. So there you go. Please, Nick, don't give up. Don't worry, Mailing. I'll never give up. Today has been a weird day, though. Very it, weird. It has. Like, it has. Oh, don't worry, Shiroi. Like, um, as far by by metal, by Solid Snakes' uh, standards, this is Tuesday. So, dude, what did you eat? Oh God, he ate Taco Bell. Okay, Poor so bastard. So there you go. Now that so yeah, the the guard has gone to take a dump. So this is our chance. So here's Very loudly exclaiming that he's about to take it down. Okay. Maybe he's secretly in our <laughs> pocket and we just don't know it yet. See, uh, alright, so, uh, here's what you're supposed to do. Actually, no, I think I'm going to first ask him if yes, I'm going to say, I think. Snake, that's a prison cell. You can't open the door from the inside. Yes, yeah, somehow. You'll have to get the key off the guard. Yeah, but how? Why don't you try disappearing? There you go, that's your hint. Why don't you try disappearing? There is one spot in the cell where the guard can see me, and that's under the bed. So, since he didn't see me crawling under the bed, unlike he would if he were patrolling around... Oh! Hey, Otacon! Hey, Otacon! It's me, Otacon. Wow, they even captured you. Hurry, get me out of here. It, let me go, that hurts. Hurry up! Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go! Jeez. Oh, I thought this is going to be a bad ending where he kills Otacon. Oh, what a smell! No way, this Otacon will live for the entire series. Yeah, it's the Derpa chief! You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards! This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here, then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more Ah, oh, that's considerate. Also, I got you this. Yeah, let's be honest. Otacon is legit one of the most genuinely nice people in this entire series. Definitely, that, that's that, he's intended to be that way specifically. And yes, to suffer because of that. <laughs> yep. Sounds like Stockholm syndrome to me. Yeah. So there you go, she. So there you go, she. What? Remember Sniper Wolf, the the female sniper that took us down. Otacon yeah. has Otacon has a crush. According to him, she the dude. thing, According to him, she's nice to him. She must be a good person. Please. Uh, do you, do you know how yandere's tend to function? They they show their bright side until it's time to kill. That's all I can do. They're planning to launch. I know what to I know what to judge when it comes to seeing ping. <laughs> oh God, yeah, Otacon sense a lot. Although not as bad as that one character in Rising. <laughs> Otacon, welcome to the life of a soldier. You are going to have to get used to it. Oh crap. It. That's not even getting into the giant cyber monkeys. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. coward. Okay, All right. to be fair, Snake, what's he going to do? So yeah, he, he just gave me... He can, so turn, he, he can turn invisible. It catch up. Italian tomato-based condiment. Hmm. Okay. 
We also he also gave us a level six key card. That's nice. So like I said, the idea is you have to go in under the bed. Since the guard didn't see you crawling into the bed this time, he's probably going to think, wait, where'd the prisoner go? So he, obviously he's probably coming in and investigate. The maggots ate him. Huh? He's gone. Hmm. Come on. Hey. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And there we are. Maybe we should close the door, you know? Let yeah, yeah. Relax <laughs> in there. <laughs> or not, I guess. He's fine. The door is just gone. <laughs> He'll be fine. There was, there was a door here, now it's gone. All right. Although he's probably gonna get fired. There's a security camera around the corner, so let's see. And that's the, and that's the best thing that would happen to him. <laughs> All right, ration. All right, and here's the torture chamber, and the box should have our things. There we are. Also, I don't know about picking up those rations. Those are probably what made him need the bathroom so bad. Uh, sure, it's, just, it's 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 classic video game logic. It's like how in, Duck, in the DuckTales game you can open ultra chests that have candy in them and cakes in them, and you eat them for some reason. So uh -huh. again, also again, even before that, Castlevania with you know roast chickens hiding inside the walls. Yeah. Hey, at least at least we have good reason to believe that those roast chickens were just put there nice and cooked well because I mean if you like cooked. rubble in your chicken it's the extra spiciness so. <laughs> given how tough the Belmonts especially Simon are they probably relish that should we really. close one snake ocelot oh yeah basically ocelot tricked us and put in an explosive in, in the box of our things so basically when you do pick it up you'll hear a, a little tick 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 which is your cue to maybe investigate your inventory and say oh shit I have um um, bomb in my pants. I have a bomb in my I pants. <laughs> I love how that's the one thing Snake says that Ocelot will pay for. You know, aside from almost everything else. I'm guessing bombs is where he draws the line. Uh, let's just say Ocelot has kind of been a dick to snakes in general. Oh, he is. We were like we were. You, you were talking about simping earlier. Trust me, nobody's a bigger simp than fucking Ocelot. But we'll, yeah. but, we'll talk, yeah. but we'll talk about it. Can you, shoot the, can you shoot the camera? You can. Yes. That's actually one of the thing, issues I do have with how they implement, how they just copy paste the Metal Gear Solid 2 controls into the level design of Metal Gear Solid 1. Because in Metal Gear Solid uh, Twin Snakes, um, you can just use the first person aiming mode to shoot cameras off from a very large distance. Meaning camera security cameras in Twin Snakes basically are a complete non-issue. Um, you know, it's one of those things where okay. Yes, it's cool that you put in the MGS2 updated controls in Twin Snakes, but you have to change the level design to accommodate for that. Because these levels were not made with that mechanic in mind. As a, it's, it's kind of like how you, when you try to play Sonic 1 with the spin dash. because You can basically completely break the level design because the levels were not designed with the spin dash in mind. Well, unless, unless there's Sonic Genesis in those cases. Kind of well, that, well, that game is broken. Well, uh, Sonic as, Genesis uh, is... Yeah. That game is broken uh, on way more serious levels than just having a spin dash so that game has bigger problems so um all right if i remember correctly now that i have a level six key card i'm gonna get myself some new equipment because remember one of the that's one of the things cool things about this particular armory uh all of the particular uh rooms in this armory uh, open depending on on how high of a security level your key card is so Every time your security key card in, in, raises in rank, it's always a good idea to come back to the armory and check what new weapons slash equipment you may have. Basically, I'm just using the stealth camo uh, so I can just, you know, uh, get through this part uh, faster. Bye, dude. There you go. But yeah, that, that's basically that's basically what I was saying. Again, that's that's one of the big issues I have with the gameplay of Twin Snakes. Like they didn't think things properly. Like uh, having that ability in the in these levels breaks the game because it renders a lot of stuff negligible in terms of the challenge. You know, you can just uh, shoot various soldiers from a distance, and and as a result, you don't have to rely on stealth for the most of the part in Twin Snakes if you know what you're doing. 
It's it's a weird call, I'll admit. Part of me doesn't mind it. I feel like the best compromise would have been if they had a mode where, yes, it does feel like that, but they also had a mode for people who wish that it plays more like the original Metal Gear Solid 1. Mm-hmm. It's one of those cases, again, or, or, maybe go the extra mile. I'm guessing they couldn't, but you should have gone the extra mile and redesigned the levels uh, with the new controls in mind. I no. mean, okay, City Code Knights had to rebuild uh, the entire graphical assets from the ground up anyway. So they did They did not really, the, you know, add any potential issue in changing potential layouts, uh, mm-hmm. you know, because they had to already build, construct the game from the ground up instead of, you know, just taking this and just touching the models. Yeah, so, the, uh, but, but, but the level layouts themselves, even though the graphics themselves, the textures themselves are new, the level layouts, the level design itself is copy-pasted from this game, you know? Oh, yeah, uh, isn't it? Considering also how now we how we how we know now at this point uh, how well I think he did work on that uh, you know the the leader of Silicon Knights was uh, in terms of you know being a person and treating the rest of his team uh, yeah I'm not too surprised uh, that uh, despite the love and care that they tried to put in the the end result uh, was uh, was still a bit questionable. Mm-hmm. All right, last ga- the last game, the last game where I have to even care about the key cards. <laughs> so oh. now what? Oh, uh, now well, now that we've gotten ourselves, uh, 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 if I remember, actually, if I actually, well, while I was talking, I actually didn't pay attention. What new thing did we get, Teo? Did you notice? Oh, no, you did. You did get some, you know. I'm was from the Nikita missiles, so uh, oh, okay. Probably yeah, yeah. Notice, so. Okay, in that case, probably nothing because um, not all of the little huts in the armory do have something new. Some of them just have ammo, so maybe I just got some new ammo, but that's fine. That's I mean, no, more, more ammo is only a good thing, so sure. This is me to time, time enough is very uh, we see here to to mention briefly something that I at least uh, said that I was going to talk about in uh, if not the previous part, one of the previous ones. Uh, um, Someone had mentions, uh, mentioned about, uh, you know, bosses having multiple phases and that. Um, I forgot exactly what was the train purpose, but what I wanted to mention back then was that uh, um, From Software managed to evolve, graduate this concept by having, starting with only a few, uh, few cases, but by the point that now it is on Elden Ring, where almost every major important boss has at least two phases. You know, mm-hmm. um, it's almost really, it's almost me. I was not even expecting that to happen, but uh, sure, but we did. But just, anyway, that that was just that. I, I just wish the boss design was a bit better, but no. Mm-hmm. Well, th- that's the thing, Jova. Like, um, okay, don't get me wrong. I love Elden Ring, but even but but the From community w- will tell you that the lev- the boss design in Elden Ring is kind of a step down from Sekiro. Let's just you say. I'm talking like. The only thing that I heard on art? that front hold is that. Are we talking art wise or gameplay wise? Ga- gameplay wise, gameplay wise. The boss ah, design. Ah, okay. Oh, no, tr- 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 trust me. The art direction in Elden Ring is once again 10 out of 10. The art team at Front Software never fails. You can just put take that fear out of your head right now. I'm talking about I the do boss. I know what you mean about some of the bosses. Like, I feel like I saw some compilations of videos where people were able to. Trick bosses into literally falling off cliffs, and boom, they were done. There's there's boss that battles. Sort of there's boss battles that. Okay, I'm not gonna say it's Dark Souls too bad, but some bosses do indeed suffer from uh, uh, some uncheap shots. That uh, there's nothing you can do about it. There are videos of plenty of people who are much better talking about this than I am. Um, well, that's like, also a good point of connection because uh, by the time it's going to be public, this will be way later than what I'm about to say anyway. But uh, you did mention in the Xbox uh, uh, One uh, E3 re- combo reveal um, that uh, you thought that the director, directors of the Dark Souls 2 did not do anything else. Uh, as far as I'm aware. Least, so. One of the co-directors, not one of them, yes, but the other co-director went on to co-direct along with Miyazaki 
both uh, Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring. In fact, a lot mm. of the team work on Dark Souls 2 also work on Elden Ring. It's basically a conjunct mm. project with the entire Kill Consult uh, in it, order to make it, it that big. It's, it's interesting how they shuffle staff members because Sekiro has probably the best boss design that From has ever made. So, so, um, so we got a PAL key. So what's the um, so what's it in the American version? The NTSC key. Uh, PAL stands for Permissive Action Link. Oops. We did got that uh, definition from uh, the, um, although, the second hostage. Although, although yeah, it is a fun... You'd be surprised. Pa PAL is acronym. probably one of the most yeah widely used acronyms. Unless, yeah. it's, um, unless it's the French version, and then they call it a CCAM key. <laughs> All right. Okay, with with all this, now that we've recovered all the ammo that we needed, because remember, oh yeah, I, I don't think I actually explained this before, actually. So, uh, aside from increasing your health bar, defeating a boss battle will also increase how much ammo you can carry with each gun. So, every time you, so you're time you beat a new boss, again, Zelda logic too. Mm -hmm. um, so, every time you beat a boss, um, it's always a good idea to go back to the armories uh, so you can stock up on ammo. Because, you know, more ammo is always a good thing, so... Of course. All right. So with that done, let's continue and let's see if we can Slot find. Three wolves, uh... Let's see if we can find Sniper Wolf and what exactly she did to Meryl. I mean, it's, it's abundantly obvious that she's using Meryl as a bait to lure us in once again. But well, it's not like that's not like we can do anything. At the, it, we're technically falling into her trap by doing this, but it's not like we can do anything else. So let's just try our best to not get killed. I guess. It's already a miracle we managed to properly escape. Mm hmm. Just by hiding under the bed. Yep. Oh, the pupper is still here. Yay. Don't worry, Shira, the pupper will live. He seems to be the only one who's nice to us. Alright, uh, let me use the thermal to make sure there's no mines here. Okay. Okay. Touching. There's still the blood stain. There's the blood stain. They're All not right, gonna clean Meryl. it up. Where's the rebel base? I guess there's no janitor at Shadow Moses. So, yeah, I do. I, I, I do. I do. I, I, I do not understand why this filter for the flashbacks, though. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess it okay. was Kojima trying to replicate at the first, uh, tone Sometimes at first, I thought it was supposed to be an. Uh, the, the first time it was presented, I thought it was supposed to be an eye because of the dramaticness of the tone and it, it felt. But I thought it was because we were like seeing the shock expression from oh, the sure. person's eye. But in this case, no, it's just... The, the you, usually that, usually so. when you're trying to do something like a flashback, usually you have either a black and white filter or mm -hmm. like a bluish filter of sorts, you know, something that really, you know, is visually distinct from the present events. You know? And we still have the sepia thing, but it's just the fact that the gradient, uh, you know, from dark to, to white. Uh. Yeah. One of you did say that it might be a camera. Kind of view? It may, may be, but that's the thing, sure. Only the developers know what exactly was the intent with, with that, so... Snake, about Meryl. Mm. Girl, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. Yep. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. True, she did say she that. said that. She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. It's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. That role what Simba leads to said. Madness. Yeah, that role leads to madness, basically. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. She was shot several times. <laughs> well, Shiro, they're, yeah, try well, well, they're trying to be positive. Come on. Let's just, you know, let's not even... Oh, they're being freaking delusional. Snake. Then again, given what series we're playing she here, Glib, maybe she did survive. Yes. Not just that. It's not even just that. Re remember, like, um, 
Stop all them. She's the colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Nothing more. <laughs> it's like a police interrogation. No, I just. I guess it's in the genes. Oh yeah, this, oh, this is actually important. This is actually important. Listen here. About Colonel. <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Hmm. Is that right? The forming yes. of the FBI. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the fifties, I guess. Where? In uh, New York, I think. Naomi. I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Okay, fair Snake. enough. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. But it's one of those. Well, remember, Dwebs, uh, Sniper Wolf did tell us that. Huh, your, don't worry, your woman is fine. So it's clear that she took she took her and she probably tended her because again she wants to use her as a ba as bait for Snake because uh, she's just that sick. Um, and since we didn't get the bad ending, Meryl's still alive. Uh, I, it's one of those cases Allegedly. where it's one of those cases where they're trying to be his support, not just militarily speaking, but also emotionally speaking. They're trying to look. Just let's just try to keep a a, pos a positive attitude for now because not all is lost yet. So let's try our best to, you know, move on and see. Because, like, like, like the master said, uh, regretting about the fact that the past only leads to madness. So. All right, but we will do that in the next part. You then. But first, we have to save the game. What's up, Snake? Because in the meantime, Mailing probably will have a new Chinese proverb to tell us. And goodbye. In China, they say, rashness brings success to few, misfortune to many. Snake, go forward when it's safe, but retreat when there's danger. You'll just have to play it by ear, depending on the circumstances. Did they do the one from that Bond film, where it's like, before you set out on revenge, you have to dig two graves? Uh, <laughs> I, surprisingly, no, they don't do that one. But yeah, that's one of the more popular ones, yes. If you're gonna go on a revenge revenge quest, dig two graves. Oh, is that another Chinese proverb? Yeah, yeah, it was from For Your Eyes Only, the uh, Roger Moore Bond film. Yes. All right. All right. See you for the next part, everybody. Yeah. See ya. See ya. See ya.